Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking more at Lightroom Classic and we're going to be focusing on this beauty shot here today. So this is the wonderful model I shot out in LA. Her name is Lakin. I'll link her Instagram down below. You can give her a follow. And I want to kind of take you guys through my post-production process on this. So the first thing we're going to do here is obviously inspect the photo, make sure everything looks good. You know, obviously it's all sharp. You know, we shot it at F6.3, as we can see up here at 198 millimeters with an ISO of 50 and my shutter speed was at 1 200th of a second. So obviously the photo is well exposed. I want to just correct a few little things here and then we're going to take it into Photoshop and we'll go from there. So the first thing we're going to do here is adjust the exposure and I want to just see how this is going to look once we kind of underexpose, overexpose, make sure that you know I'm happy with the overall exposure. I'm actually going to bring it up just a little bit to about 0.15. I want to adjust the contrast. And again, we can lower this, we can bring this up. And I'm actually going to bring it up just a bit to about plus five. We'll lower the highlights. I would say about there is good because we want to retain highlights here in the detail of the skin, as you can see. So notice some of these hot spots right here within the skin, okay? You can raise this or you can lower this. So I want to bring in more detail into that. So I'm actually gonna leave that at negative 18, 17 I should say. And the shadows, let's go ahead and bring the shadows up just a bit. Actually, I'm gonna lower that a little more to about plus 26. As far as the whites, I'm actually gonna lower this. And notice the difference, guys. So if we leave it where it was at, right? You can tell some of the skin is still overblown. If we raise it, you can see where the skin is going, right? But if we lower this, notice how we start to retain more detail here in these overblown areas, right? And that is exactly what we want to do. So we can actually adjust this and kind of fine tune it even more in Photoshop, but this is just the basic stuff. So we're going to actually touch the blacks here. So notice we can crush the blacks, like I said, right? Obviously we don't want that and we don't want to go super light. So overall, remember, a balanced photo is what we're looking for here. So let's raise just a bit, okay? And how am I going to know this, okay? Is look here at these dark areas. That's how we're going to know. So again, we were starting at about zero, right? Or I should say zero. We're gonna raise this a bit because remember, we want more detail in those blacks. Now for reference, hit backslash on your keyboard to see this is where we started, this is where we're going. Now, notice the difference, right? You can just see more detail retained in those shadows, okay? Look at that. Okay, so a couple of other things. Now, we wanna actually go into the hue, saturation, and luminance and just kind of fine tune a few things. So we're going to go ahead and sample right here. We're going to go right about here on the upper cheek. Okay, we can actually drag it and see what color this is. So this is showing as orange and yellow because that is what skin color is. So just for reference, let's play around so you guys can see. So you see how we can change the color of the skin. Obviously, we don't want to change it that much, but we want to fine tune things, right? So let's go plus seven for the yellow. Let's go ahead and just play with this a bit, see what seems good. And I'm actually liking it where it's at about negative two is good for me. So saturation, again, we're only gonna focus on the orange and yellow sliders. And let's actually bring up some of that saturation into the skin because that's more true to life, how our skin actually looks. If we look at yellow, Again, let's over saturate it just a bit at plus 11. Luminance, this is the tricky part. And you guys are gonna see this right here. So we can actually darken the skin like that, right? We don't want that. And we don't wanna lighten it up too much. So where we're at, right, is zero. So I'm actually gonna darken it just a little bit, about negative six, just a bit, and yellow. You can actually lower this and raise this. So I'm gonna actually leave it close to where it was at about negative three. So one of the final things we can do if we want 
is come over here and enable profile corrections. We can click that. So I shot this with a Sony 70 to 200 and we're actually gonna correct that. And actually, you know what, look at that. We cannot change that. Lightroom is not letting me change that. That's very interesting. Anyway, the point is, is that we always wanna click that button because notice how it fixes some of those imperfections in the lens, right? Some of the warping. So let's go ahead and just click that. We can remove chromatic aberration and it will correct the purple fringing and yellow fringing here on some of the edges. I don't see any of that here. The skin looks very good. The hair looks very good. So it should be fine overall. Now, a couple more things we can do is come down to the calibration, red primary, green primary, and blue primary. Let's go ahead and play with that just to see what that does to the photo so you guys can have a good reference on it. So first thing we're gonna do is just go to the saturation because we don't wanna change the hue, right? Remember, we already did that. So we wanna come here and just kind of look. Okay, we can increase it just a bit, bring more reds into those skin tones. For the greens, we can actually increase a little bit more right there. And actually, you know what? Just as I was saying that, I think I might want to reduce it, honestly. So we're actually going to leave that at negative three. The blue primary, again, right? It just takes the life kind of out of the photo. We're actually going to increase a little bit more of that to about plus six. So we're going to scroll to the very top. Now remember, this is just the first phase of correcting the photo. If we want to see where we came from, we're going to hit backslash. So that is where we started, right? It was a good photo but this is where we're at now. So we refined it and now we are ready to move into Photoshop. Now this will be a two part series of a video. So this is gonna be the first part. If you guys wanna see the next part, please stick around, please subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.